Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to the 15th video of Playwright. In this video, we are going to learn how to do the drag and drop in the main page as well as drag and drop option within the frame as well. Let's start it now. So first we will see how to do the drag and drop in the main page. So we are taking this redco.in slash droppable as our example. And here we can see that we have a source element that is this one and here we have the target one. So I have to drag my source and I have to drop within my uh, target element, right? So for this in Selenium, we have a direct function called drag and drop or also we can use like drag and drop by from the actions class and within the by we can pass the coordination, right? Uh, that is the element location. We have to do similar things in Playwright as well, but there is nothing like uh, actions class or more advanced uh, user interactions related stuffs are available in Playwright as of now. For example, if you see in Selenium, the actions class has lots of method, right? Uh, so we have like move to element, drag and drop, uh, we have context click and few other uh, like most of the things that we mostly do in the website that is already there in the actions class in Selenium, right? But in Playwright, it has very limited uh, related to functions, but of course we can perform still the drag and drop, the double click or maybe whatever the related like hovering on an element, we can do it. But the code is not very simple. We have to uh, write some logic for that. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So for this example, I already have created a describe block, a test block and already we have discussed about this lot of the time. So I'm just going to skip that. And here I have a my test where I have loaded my web page first and then this is my source element I have stored as SRC and then the target element that is DST. Okay. Now, first of all, we have to make sure that this elements are available. So we are just going to write a if condition here. So if um, both the element, right? So we have we are going to check if both the elements are there. That means if condition and we are expecting that not to be null. Okay. If it's not null, then we have we are going to perform the um, drag and drop, right? So uh, to do that, what we have to do is we have to first find the location of this particular elements. For example, where this element, right? So this is my source. So I have to find the source element. Um, we don't actually want the source element location, but still we want it. We, I I will tell you the reason. Okay. And this guy, of course, we want to get this location so that I can just drag this guy and drop. How I am doing manually is very simple. I'm just hovering, right? Or I can say like I'm just mouse uh, moving, right? So I'm clicking on the down button, mouse down button. I'm moving this guy and then I'm dropping and I'm just clicking on the mouse up button, right? So we are going to perform the same action. Let me show you in the code, okay? But before that, as I said earlier, we have to take the location of the target element, right? And also the source element. So let's see how to get the location first. So it's very easy. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to say await uh, source element dot. And there's something called bounding box. Bounding box is nothing but it will give us the um, kind of rectangle in Selenium. Okay, so that means it's going to give us the x and y coordination as well as the height and width of the any element okay so i'm just going to name this like const src bound okay similarly we will also uh, find for the um, what we call that destination okay so just copy paste instead of src we will change this to dst and we'll do here as well okay very simple so we have found the bounding box now from this what we want is uh, the x and y coordination as well as the height and width um, before that let me show you one thing okay so first of all we have to make sure that boundings are available so i'm just going to write one more if condition here uh, not the src it should be dst bound why we are writing so much of uh, if condition in uh, because uh, basically, it's going to return us null. If the element is not there, it will return us null and we cannot use the null object. So first we'll check like if so if this is going to be uh, not learn, no, sorry, not null, then we will perform something. If it's null, just we can throw some error maybe. So we can say like else um, throw new error and then I can say like um, element. Uh, basically, we can say like no element. Okay, that's it. Uh, okay, now let's get into this. Okay, so if this boundings that is the height and width are available, what we are going to do? Okay, it's going to be very simple. We are going to say like page dot 
and here we have something called mouse and we can use using the mouse so we can do like uh, let me show you that so we can do like uh, sorry not uh, this just a static object uh, so mouse and uh, just a property and from there we can do the click action the double click action um, and then we can do like down up or we can move okay so we are going to move the element first so i'll select the move and within this we have to pass two parameters one is the x coordinate coordination and the y coordination so if i mouse over here you can see that uh, it's basically need the number type so we have to pass the x and y okay and um, yeah so from here we can take the s uh, x and y okay so basically we are going to take this guy and put on this guy correct so let's see so here i'm going to say sic dot x okay and then comma sic uh, sorry not sic it should be the bound sic bound dot x and then the dst sorry again the src bound dot y okay so x and y in the sense uh, basically the graph right so you know which is x which is y right so we are going to take that but um, if I say just X and Y, it will take the initial position like from here it will take, okay. But what we want to do is we want to click on the middle part and we have to drop this. Uh, let me show you, uh, you will understand better I think, okay. As of now, I'm just using this SRC X, uh, SRC bound dot X and SRC bound dot Y, but we have to do something else as well. I will show you in a moment, okay. Okay, now let's get into this. Okay, so I'm just going to move and when moving, the element of course i have to click on the mouse down button as well right so here i'm going to say mouse dot down okay and similarly uh, of course i have to move it where i have to move it to this particular location right so again we will use the same code so but what we'll do is we'll just change this to dst okay so dst bound okay this should work fine but it will not work perfectly what is the difference let me show you okay so i'm going to bring up my terminal control j and i'm going to say um, just and then followed by what is this file name drag dot test dot ts okay few of the things i really like in playwright and few of the things i really don't like it i will tell you in the next uh, when we are going to do the actions in the within the frame i will tell you how i got confused and how I also found the solution. Okay. Okay. So if you notice here, the drag and drop is performed, but still uh, it's working. Yeah, it's fine. But what happened is it's just uh, tugged into the left side, most left side, right? But what I expected is basically to drop in the middle. Anyway, it's working fine. It's fine. We can leave it as it is. But what we want to do is we want to move it to the center part. That is how most of the UI works. So we have to move it to the center. Then only it will work perfectly. Or at times what will happen means I will say like uh, you didn't move properly or something like that. Okay. So just to make sure and just to show you the example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the center. So for that very easy, uh, very simple concept only. So we already found the X and Y coordination, right? That means in the graph, I said like, where is my point? if you see here uh, this element is having like x and the y uh, which one is x okay anyway uh, the x and y coordination is there right but also i have to say like uh, the center part how do you send how how do you say the center part is very simple we'll just calculate the width and height by two right let's do that okay so here i'm going to say x plus i have to say src bound dot uh, width and then i'm going to do the by two okay and similarly we also have to say here and the here we have to say the height okay instead of width let's change this to height okay and similarly we have to do here as well okay so i'm just going to copy this mm, yeah this one and we'll change this to dst bound okay so control d and paste over here okay that's it so i think we are pretty much done with this let's run and confirm okay so i'm going to run this again the most i hate is writing so many if conditions um, because everything written as null 
we even if the element is not there we won't get any exception we'll get just a null so if we don't handle the null uh, probably we cannot write the script clearly okay okay so here now you can see that it actually dragged and dragged and dropped within the middle part of the destination right so that is the use of this height and width even if you don't use that of course it's going to work but still i will recommend you to use the boundings with height and width y2 uh, so that it will move to the center or middle of the element okay okay anyways so this is fine we understood like how to do the drag and drop but next is the confusing part uh, not that much but i was confused when i thought like what is this okay let me show you what what is the actual problem i'm just going to copy this guy and uh, i'm going to paste over here and let me have this okay so this is x test uh, that means of course it's not going to run and this is going to only run okay so i'm going to change the url i'm going to take this one so same drag and drop but i have something to show you okay so i'm going to change the url and uh, uh, this guy basically this guy is within a frame so let me show you so right click inspect uh, sorry for that yeah so right click inspect uh, as soon as we do the right click here itself you can see that these guys are basically within the frame so you can see that view frame source and reload frame okay anyways uh, here also we can see that these guys are within the frame so of course we have to switch to the frame to find this element right and this also have the same id uh, because of course i copied this guy to this guy so same uh, thing only yeah so this is the draggable and um, what is that yeah this is, the, this is the draggable element and then also we have the dropable element so source and destination is very same only difference is we cannot find this directly i mean this elements directly because those are within the frame okay so here first we have to switch to frame right in selenium the handling frames are very very easy here it's a little complex actually even though i have a video on frame like how to switch we can use the name or the url right but what i tried is basically like um, uh, i tried to find the element with the help of this class okay um, demo class that is using the locator strategy but it did it didn't work unfortunately um, i'm not able to fire figure out the reason for that maybe in future i will tell you okay so what i have to do is i have to take the src here so i have to take the src and then um, i was able to switch to the frame okay so here what we are going to do is await and page dot frame and then i'm going to pass the optional parameter as url and then i i'm going to pass the url okay so first of all we have to pass the domain as it is that is jquerywi.com and then we have to pass this guy uh, the src okay so i'll just copy this and paste over here okay make sure you don't give two slashes here it should be only one slashes okay just to confirm this you can just copy the url and uh, you can open that in a new tab that should bring that particular drag and drop page okay so here you can see that uh, it's working fine okay okay anyways uh, so we have found the frame and using the frame object and here, await is not required here and using the frame object now so let me show that so const frame and using the frame instead of page i have to make it as frame right so so that i can find the elements that are available within the frame okay and hey, again here you can see that we are not able to use this directly because this guy may go to null so if this url is not there this is going to return me null so that is the problem here uh, if i change this to any probably that should fix the i think yeah so if it's any in the sense like uh, we don't have to write another if conditions uh, we are assuming that the frame is correct there uh, but again it's like uh, we cannot handle the exception properly anyways there is no exception that's a null only right okay anyway for this demo sake uh, i'm just go changing the data type as any so that we can use it without the if condition or else we have to wrap this code again within the um if condition okay anyways uh, so here we have the same condition so everything is same but if you noticed or if you are from protector web driver or maybe the selenium you know that whenever we switch to frame we have to use the same frame object right that means drive dot switch to frame in selenium so we will switch to the frame and we are using the same um 
what we call that driver object right uh, let's go to the frame so that will make more sense i think yeah so here in this uh, i believe you watch this else please watch this so you will connect with me like what i'm trying to say okay so page dot frame and we have passed the frame name here and using the frame we are passing like fill and we are doing something something okay so basically instead of page object we are using the frame object because all the elements are within the frame that is what we have done here also so we have used like frame dot uh, the locator strategy and the id value for the source and destination right so as a normal person my mindset instead of page i have to use frame dot mouse so that the mouse action can be performed within the frame correct that is what normally we think right so i'm just going to comment it out and i'm going to type like await uh, frame dot mouse and i won't get anything here okay so there's nothing called mouse so here i can get like a, a hover uh, that is also not there uh, this is something wrong with the intelligence i think uh, let me just check yeah because it has uh, it, it is made as any uh, the intelligence is basically not clicking in okay so i'll just change this uh, to frame as of now and i think i have to import this guy so control dot and you can just import it now it will throw because it is not null okay so anyway i'm just going to wrap this again within the if condition so let's do that first of all let me show you uh, come on okay and let's remove this guy we don't want this guy to here yeah okay so now if i say like a frame dot uh then if i say like mouse i won't get that option if i try to do the move i don't get that option if i try to find an element of course i can do that okay so here you can see i can do that if i want to mouse over of course i can do that okay this is the function to do the mouse over and similarly i can perform most of the actions but mouse related stuff i couldn't find within the frame so i was confused like if the element is within the frame how i am supposed to do the drag and drop okay so what i did is basically i try to ask few persons and um, few stack overflow everything i couldn't get the answer so i just uh, asked here um just a second let me find that okay so in the playwright i just asked in the github uh, and the questions was like mouse action inside a frame is not possible and one person replied i think he is the committer uh, maybe yeah committed yeah he's committed i think and he said like there is no mouse property on frame page dot mouse will work both on frame and the subframes uh, i don't know what is the logic behind this but it's kind of that okay and also says like uh, you can thumb up to bring the mouse api to the frame class as well okay so what i will recommend you to please sign in to your github and go to this link i will just leave in the description and place a vote so that we'll get the most related actions for the frame api as well okay okay anyways that is fine now let's see the solutions it's very simple uh, we have to still use the frame and that's it okay we have to still use the frame here i mean sorry the page object here not the frame of front uh, i really don't know how it works but what i assumed is basically uh, we are switching to the frame so that we'll get the elements and after that we are using the page because uh, frame is within the page and page can do the mouse actions that is how i believe i am not sure about it if i know in the future probably i will just update okay now let's run and confirm whether it's working or not that is what i said few of the things i really like in playwright uh, few of the things i really don't like and one of the major problem here is the like this kind of scenarios okay and it's a growing technology so the community support is not much there but github i saw lots of questions are there and lots of uh, things are solved as well okay um so i think in the future of course it will get okay and here you can see that this guy actually uh, dropped and um, yeah so it's working fine but still the code is same only thing is you have to remember there is no mouse related i mean not related mouse in the frame 
So to perform any of the mouse, you have to use the page object itself. Okay. Okay, so that's it for this video. I think it's a very lengthy one. I believe so. Let me check. Yeah, it's very lengthy, but I believe you understood the scenarios and uh, why it's lengthy. Okay, anyways, uh, that's it from my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon. If you have any queries, please do let me know in the comments. I will try my best to uh, reply you back. Okay, and um, one more request if you are commenting with some link or dot 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 something like that. Uh, don't do that it mostly go to the spam and sometimes if i don't check the spam it just vanished and i couldn't answer you properly okay um yeah fine see you in the next one very soon